What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of The Narcissist Code. I'm your favorite self-aware narcissist, Mr. Lee Hammock, better known as Mental Illness across all social media platforms. This is your first time seeing my face or hearing my voice. I'm a clinically diagnosed narcissist, and I use my platform on social media to raise awareness for NPD, get more people into therapy like myself, and also validate the victims, survivors, and thrivers of said disorder, said toxic people, said toxic traits. We know everybody's not a narcissist, y'all, but people are toxic. as People can be toxic as hell. Today's episode is going to be about why does love bombing work? Why does love bombing from a narcissist work? Why does it work, y'all? Why? Why, 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 why? So before we get started on today's episode, if y'all are new here, I have my self-love, my self-love bombing journal. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Self-love journal on Amazon is available. Lee Hammock, I love me. Um, Check it out. Link is in the description. Link is in the, you know, of every podcast, every video I do. So, 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 y'all. Goodness gracious. So, why does love bombing work? Think about, think about the question, y'all. Because love bombing, because it's such a known tactic right now. Does everybody know about love bombing? No. But do a lot of people know about it? Yeah. A lot of people know about love bombing. I've had, I've had videos, my love bombing videos get millions of views. I have mi- millions of followers across all my platforms that see my videos. You know, so a lot of people... Millions of people know about love bombing. So why does it still work? One of the main reasons why love bombing works is because it makes sense. Like sense, S-E-N-S-E. It makes sense to people to be love bombed. Because, you know, you, people like, if we're, if we're in love, if we're supposed to, it's supposed to go fast. You know, if we're if we supposed to, we're supposed to be married, why not get married soon? If we, uh, you know, you see, you think love bombing, it, it just, it does make sense. If we're in love, why are we hesitating? If we're in love, why are we slowing down? If we're in love, why are we taking our time? If we're in love, why, why, why shouldn't I meet your kids in the first week of meeting you? If we're in love, why shouldn't, you know, if we're supposed to be in love, why shouldn't I meet your parents one, uh, you know, two weeks into our relationship? If we're in love, why, why shouldn't we live together? You know, if we're going to be in love or move, live together, or if we're going to be married later on down the road, why shouldn't we move in together within the first month or two? You see what I'm saying? Why shouldn't we? That's the question a lot of people ask themselves when you're getting love bomb. Why shouldn't we? It doesn't feel right all the time. It doesn't feel right, but it makes sense. Though it, though, it makes sense though, doesn't it? Why shouldn't we? Why shouldn't we? You know what I mean? Why shouldn't we do this? Like that's why I tell people all the time. Like why should people ask themselves that question? Like why shouldn't we do this? You know what I mean? Because it makes sense. You're a lovable person. You think you're a good person. You think you're, you know, you might think you're an attractive person. I don't know what you look like. This is not me trying to be the judgment of people's physical attraction. I'm just saying, you think you're funny. You think you're bubbly. You think you have a good personality. So why wouldn't somebody love you? You're lovable, right? You're lovable, correct? You see what I'm saying? It makes sense that somebody would love you just intensely. You know what I mean? And plus, it also makes sense because if you grew up on Disney movies, Love Bombing happens in damn near every Disney every Disney movie you, we watch nowadays. Love Bombing is a part of those movies. You know what I mean? Man, everybody, every damn near every Disney character gets Love Bomb. Look at uh, one of the one of the main examples I like to use is um, um. Anna from Frozen, like Hans of the Southern Owls, love bombed her so much she didn't even know this dude's last name, and she agreed to marry him. You know what I mean? We're we're in love. It makes sense. Can I say something crazy? What? Will you marry me? Can I say, can I say something crazier? What? Yes. You see what I'm saying? Why not get married right now if we're in love? We're we going to be together forever. Why are we slowing down? Going fast makes sense. That's one of the main reasons that love, that love bombing works, y'all. It just makes sense. You think you're a good person, you're an appealing person, you're an attractive person, you're a successful person. So why wouldn't somebody love bomb you? You mean you watch Disney movies? It makes sense. Like you grew up on it's in, it's ingrained in our mindsets. If you grew up in a toxic household, it makes sense. You see what I'm saying? If your if your parents met had some kind of whirlwind romance where they were together. You know, married in six months and you were born the first year into that relationship. You something it makes sense though, doesn't it? It does make sense. You mean another reason that love bombing works is because people are good narcissistic people, toxic people are good manipulators, y'all. Dear, we are good liars. We're good manipulators. We you know, we can sell you a dream and deliver you a nightmare. 
You know what I mean? We are good manipulators. We convince you to believe that we are, we are the ones for you. We convince you to believe that we are your soulmates. If you're biblical, we convince you that if you if you are Eve and I am Adam, you are my rib. If you are Adam and they are Eve, then I came from your rib. You see what I'm saying? In these situations right here, you think about think about the dynamic. You know what I mean? Think about the space that you're in. Narcissistic people are very, very good at manipulating you and selling you on a future, selling you on a dream, selling you on a lot of different situations and a lot of different scenarios. They make it, it, it just makes sense. To get back to the beginning, it makes sense. You mean, it, there, we are believable. You know what I mean? And you think in your mind, just like them, I met, the, I met this person who is meant for me. I met this person who was created for me. You know what I mean? So being love bombed by a narcissistic person, it makes it, it, narcissists a good manipulator, so they're gonna convince you that the love bombing is, is authentic. You know what I mean? Why don't you deserve this? Or you see everybody, you see other people around you getting love bombed and falling in love and being married and having kids and all this other stuff. You know what I mean? Getting that dream job, moving to that dream city, living that dream life. Why can't you get it right? Now you have this person who comes into your life to save you and take you on this ride with them. You know, narcissistic people, it, they love bombing works because they are good manipulators. We are good manipulators. You know what I mean? Love bombing also works because of future faking. Y'all, they, they again, they sell you a dream. They sell you this extravagant future. You know, they just like you know, like uh, uh, go back to Disney movies again, y'all. Aladdin, I can show you the world. You know what I mean? Showed her, told, told her, sold her a super dream, lying to her the whole time. You know what I mean? Literally lying to her about who he is, what he does, where he's from, the whole entire movie. Lying, manipulated, you know, stealing. I think Nar I think Aladdin was a narcissist, y'all. He was super toxic. You know what I mean? I'm not saying they're nar I'm not saying Aladdin is a narcissist. But if he is, he just played the role perfectly. You know what I mean sold her a dream and she was trapped. Look, told her exactly told her exactly what she want what she needed to hear, what she wanted to hear. You know, she she um was she, she felt like she was trapped up in her mindset and things like that. She felt like she was trapped in her mind. And she, was, she she felt like she was a prisoner inside the palace. So here comes Aladdin, telling her exactly what he wants. She wants to hear. I can show you the world outside the walls of the uh, outside the walls of the uh, of the castle. You know what I mean? Told her what she wanted to hear. Didn't really have anything to offer her other than lies and manipulation. You know what I mean it works, y'all? You are hopeless romantic love. Mommy is going to work on a lot of people. It just does. You know what, I mean? what another reason another reason that love mommy works on people is because you're in a state you you're in a state of vulnerability. You're vulnerable. Although it doesn't feel right. A lot of times it don't feel right. It doesn't feel right. Y'all intuition your intuition be kicking in, be like, this doesn't feel right. What am I doing? You know what I mean it just don't this doesn't feel right. The butterflies in your stomach, the anxiety, your blood pressure high, it just doesn't feel right. You know what I mean? But you still go into it because like it, it, it just you're in a state of vulnerability. You might have just gotten out of a relationship. You might have just left your toxic household. You might have just left a toxic job or left your let broke up with your toxic friend, your toxic bestie. You may it makes sense. And you get into these situations, these dynamics where it, it you understand it's like, okay, I'm vulnerable, and this person comes and sweeps you off of your feet. And I, I tell people, if somebody comes and sweeps you off of your feet it, really, really quickly, typically it's to drop you on top of your head. If they like this, these are your little feet right here. If you, you can't see this on the podcast. I have my tripod. If these are your little feet right here, here comes, here comes the narcissist. Like, doop, 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 I love you so much. I'm going to sweep you off of your feet. They sweep you off your feet and they slam you right on top of your head. You know what I mean? I love you so much. They, sweep, they drop you right on top of your damn head. You know what I mean? It's slow it, slow it down, y'all. Why does love bombing make? Why does love bombing work? Because you, typically, you ignore. You might ignore the red flags. You might see the red flags and choose to ignore them, but you don't know that they are red flags. And again, y'all, I know what people take when I say stuff like that. They take me, oh, Lee, you, you blaming the victim? No, I'm not blaming the victim. But some people will absolutely admit that they have ignored the red flags. I see that in my comment section a lot. I saw the red flags and I choose to, I chose to ignore them because I felt like they were really a good person uh, deep down. I knew, I saw their flaws and I just felt like there's a good person beneath the surface and I could just bring them out. I could be the one to bring it out. I saw the potential in them. Love bombing works because you see the potential in that person. You know, you see what I'm saying? That's why it works. Some people, some people do ignore the red flags, and that's me. That's not me trying to do victim blame. The red flags are just there for some people. Not everybody sees the red flags, and some people don't know that they that they are actual red flags. You know what I mean? They don't know. They don't know that there are actual red flags in this dynamic in this space. So you have to take control of your life. Don't ignore the red flags because when you ignore the red flags, you lose. I promise you that you do. 
You know what I mean? You're going to you're not going to live a very healthy, happy life if you are consistently and constantly ignoring the red flag. It just doesn't, y'all, it just doesn't work that way. I promise you it doesn't. I promise you it does not work that way. You know what I mean? But like I said, the red flags are there. Like, don't ignore the red flags. Love bombing is gonna work on a lot of people, y'all. And then okay, y'all. And the last thing about love bombing, I need to say uh, why it works. Sometimes love bombing, love bombing, love bombing does just does <sighs> narcissistic robot needs to reboot. Talking too fast, getting ahead of words, <laughs> powered back up. Okay, love bombing doesn't just happen at the beginning of relationships either, y'all. It happens in the middle too. It happens during the actual relationship. It happens after the narcissistic person gets caught up doing something. They try to love bomb you to get you to forgive them. So sometimes love bombing happens after, you know, sometimes love bombing works because you want them that you want them to take accountability. You want them to apologize to you. So they will love bomb you in the middle of a relationship as well. You mean you love bombing means something to you when they do this in the middle of a relationship. You mean that's the space that you're in right now. So love bombing. There's a, there's here's a few reasons why love bombing works. If you made it this far, y'all drop a bomb emoji in the chat. Drop a drop a bomb in the chat, like a little bomb emoji. I try to see as many bombs to respond to with, with a bomb as possible, y'all. Um, also, self love journals on Amazon. Like and subscribe for more. And as always, as always, y'all. But to hold this is out. Peace.